If you've been in no contact for over one month, it's time to turn up the heat on your ex. Because once a month goes by, you got another month in no contact where they theoretically could come back around. But because we've already seen that over the first month, they haven't come back yet. What that tells me is that you need to turn up the heat a little bit and start playing with a different strategy. No contact is designed to kind of allow that person to miss you, but also to get past some of the problems that you guys had and start to kind of look at you with, uh, you know, fonder eyes. And, you know, once you've given it a month to allow that to happen and we're still not seeing messages from that person, I'm not saying that everybody has to come around in the first month. Most people do, but, you know, sometimes it can go up to that second month. But if it hasn't so far, you know, why spend the second month doing the exact same thing that you did in the first month? So great, Benny. How do we turn up the heat? You know what to do, man. You're going to get some new outfits. You're going to go to the gym all the time if you haven't been doing it already. You're going to go out and be extra social. And you're going to have some cute pictures. If you're a girl, if you're a dude, you're going to have some handsome pictures that go up. And you're going to post them on your social media for everybody to see. And what you're going to do is sub-communicate that you're putting yourself out there and you're likely going on, on uh, out on dates with other people. Now, I understand why that you wouldn't just knee-jerk react, you know, start to go see other people or whatever after a breakup. You love that person. You miss them. And you don't want to send them the wrong message. But once a month goes by, that's plenty of time for you to kind of, you know, collect yourself and get back out there. Now, you need to understand that without the threat of loss, that person, your ex, is just going to be like super complacent. You know, they're not going to be worried about losing you. So they're going to go off date other people. They're going to think that you're this nice little boy or girl that's just sitting there waiting. And they're going to have no sense of urgency about coming back to you. But once they see those really sexy pictures go up on your social media or cute pictures or whatever the case is, and they see people of the opposite gender in your comments, they maybe see your dating profile on Tinder or Hinge or whatever. That's going to send a different message. And even if you don't go that far, even just posting pictures of you out, like hanging out with other people at night, okay, what does that subcommunicate? It means that you're putting yourself out there. If you're shining your light, people are going to see it. They're going to want to come talk to you, right? If you're in the zone, it's, it's understood that somebody's going to notice you and eventually come scoop you up. Now, if you're not willing to do all this, I'm just going to tell you, it's like, your chances of getting your ex back are going to be less. That's just the bottom line. If you want to make it super comfortable for them and you're not going to risk anything, you know, when you're basically playing this game to try to get them back, you're not going to get the rewards. The rewards go to people that take the risks. This is not a fun and comfortable process. But I'm here to hold your hand every step of the way. If you want to work with me, click into my profile. Click this link down here. Get in touch with me and I'll help you reattract your ex.